Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you guys are all doing well. Before we start today's video, if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Olivia and I do lots and lots of content on sneaker reviews. I'm also holding a hundred pound giveaway that ends this Thursday. I will leave the video with the link and the description and everything you need to know about this giveaway. So if you do want to enter, you can. Today's video is going to be on the Addy from Q. I don't really know what to call them. Clogs, runners, trainers, but basically are they are kind of Adidas's version of a Yeezy foam runner. So today we're going to take a look at those. And I do also have a pair of Yeezy foam runners as well, so we can do a comparison to see what each one is saying and how they kind of hold up against each other. Starting with boxing, as usual, we don't get a special kind of box for these, so you just get the normal kind of Adidas trainer box. <laughs> So here we have the Adiform Qs. I did get this in the colorway white. It's kind of a more of an off-white than kind of a clean white. They do do some other colorways. However, it's not a huge selection just yet, but I feel like they probably will release a lot more colorways down the line. But for the moment, they've got this white, they've got a black and they've got a gray. And then they do also have some kind of different variations of the sock lining, which we'll go into so I can show you guys in a bit. You will notice that it does look like a Yeezy foam run. I feel like you just can't deny this. And obviously Adidas aren't gonna say that. Adidas I've actually said this is based off one of their trainers, the 2001 Quake. Obviously, this is called Adiform Q, so they've kind of related the name of the shoe to the Quakes, which I get, but let's be real. This is given Yeezy Foam Runner. However, even though they've taken the Yeezy kind of Foam Runner silhouette, they have added that little bit extra into it, which we'll talk about obviously, which is the sock lining. So it's the same, but a little bit different. So let's take a look into the further details of this shoe. So this shoe is made up of the EVA foam material, which we have seen before. Compared to the Yeezy Foam Runners, it is a lot thicker and therefore it is definitely a lot more sturdier. It's not as flexible. This kind of gives off more of a vibe of a trainer than a runner. Of course, we then have the cutouts across the lateral and medial side panels. Again, compared to the Yeezy, these are a lot more aggressive. They definitely look a lot more meaner. Then moving on to the midsole, we have this exaggerated midsole and heel, which really does add chunkiness and volume to this shoe. And then if we do take a look at the back of the heel as well, you can see we do have the logo and then we have the Adi Plus logo engraved on the bottom of this heel. Of course, one main feature is that we actually have laces that actually serve a purpose. I have seen some people lace their foam runners and for me, I just, I just don't understand understand the look. Obviously they have no purpose and yeah, I just don't think it's a vibe. But we need these laces because inside we have a sock liner. Again, another huge difference, especially when you're comparing them to the Yeezys. So if you do want to take the sock liner out, then you will have to remove the laces. I've just taken the laces out, so now I can just pull out the sock lining. And um, this is detachable, but it is kind of secured quite well in. So not only do the laces hold it in place as well, um, it is quite a little bit of a struggle to get out. Out, but I think that's good because that makes sure if you do want to wear the sock lining that you know your foot is tightly in it. This is the prime knit sock liner. As you can see, I've went for this kind of off-white kind of color, and then of course we've got the orange. As for the actual sock liner, it is, feels really, really cheap, but I guess it's just a sock liner, you know, it's not an actual shoe. One cool thing that I was saying earlier about this is that you can get different color weight variations of the sock liner, um, and that's kind of what I meant by very similar colorway variations. You can get the same for the kind of foam runner, the bulk of the shoe, um, but then you can kind of switch up and um the idea is that you can kind of mix and match these. You can get different ones, but I feel like if you're going to be buying the entire shoe, especially at the price it is, I don't think it's worth it. But it would be cool if they just sold these alone, maybe for like quite cheaply, 10, 20 pounds, and then you could kind of switch it up. For this sock line, obviously you can see a lot on top because there are so many holes, but at the bottom, as you can see, you can only see like this oval shape, which is actually quite small. Um, but other than that, in the insole, you've got an orange, I've got an orange insole as well. And this does also say made with Harley Ocean Plastic end plastic waste, the brand with three stripes. Um, so we've got recycled material in the shoe, which is obviously always an amazing thing. Thank you. 
I think one thing for me that I was really, really interested in was after I've taken the sock lining out, can I actually wear this as a foam runner? Exactly like the Easy Foam Runner. You know, they're very, very similar vibes, obviously. Can I actually put my foot into it? But now I've taken the sock lining out, the inside space is so big. This is no longer my size if I wanted to wear it as a Yeezy Foam Runner. Another thing as well is that I just don't really know if it's gonna, you know, support my foot because obviously we've got this open section here as well compared to the Yeezy Foam Runner. You know, it kind of is tie up until the top of your foot so you know it's not really giving foam runner vibes so I wouldn't recommend wearing this as a foam runner I think for sizing as well you'd kind of be you would have kind of be really lost with sizing and um, because now you've taken out the sock lining is literally a completely different size so my normal true to size size is a size 7 for the easy foam runners I got a UK 8 and a US 8 because their sizing was absolutely awful for the adidas adifom cues I think sizing is so much easier and you know what you're going to get for every single colorway so it's just in that that sense it's just so much easier for these i would recommend going up one full size i did get a 7.5 which is a 0.5 size bigger than my normal size but i definitely think they're too tight and i definitely would have preferred an eight these do also come in 0.5 sizes as well which is so much better than the yeezys because you're not going to kind of be guessing your size you can literally get your perfect size one thing we've obviously got to talk about is comfortability now i generally find adidas shoes no matter what they are no matter who they've collabed with are very very comfortable and i can't lie both of these are really really comfortable now comparing them to each other is kind of a different one because i feel like they are kind of comfortable in their own different ways the easy foam runner i think the material is more comfy i feel like it's a lot more softer a lot more rubbery however the shape of the shoe for me i feel like is sometimes a little bit uncomfortable these aren't something that i can wear as a trainer in that sense i feel like i can only wear them for a limited amount of time they're not kind of like an everyday shoe for me i I actually don't wear these a lot even though I absolutely love them I don't really wear them a lot and I usually tend to only wear them in summer whereas for the Adiform cues I feel like they're comfortable in a kind of trainer way which I guess in a sense is a lot better and I definitely a lot better value for your money so these definitely feel more like a trainer I think it's because you've got the sock lining you've got the laces and the shoe is a lot bigger I feel like there's more space for your foot this shoe for me I feel like I could wear normally as a trainer like I could go walking in it i could do normal trainer things whereas for the easy foam runner as i said this this isn't a trainer for me this is more like a kind of slide so i guess it kind of depends what you want from your shoe but definitely definitely both very very comfortable shoes pricing wise these came in at 90 pounds 120 dollars now one huge thing about this is that you're not going to be struggling you should not be struggling to get these because these are so much more easily accessible they're on loads of different company websites as well so if you even if you can't get them from adidas which i'm sure you will and um, you can literally just pick them up from most places again compared to the easy it's definitely a lot thicker a lot sturdier and that kind of comes with a bit more chunkiness to the shoe it definitely looks a bit more clunky on your feet for me personally i'm not a fan of this material clunkier i don't know what it is i don't know you know if it's just because i've got in my mind the foam runner was the first thing that came so now anything compared to it i'm a bit like i don't know i don't know if that's just me personally let me know in the comments below what you guys are saying about today's shoe are we a fan of the sock lining are we a fan of the silhouette i must admit i'm actually a really big fan of this sock lining i feel like it's a very clever idea but then how much credit can you give to adidas when you know we did have the easy slow runner first which is the kind of main pinnacle of the shoe i guess Thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you did enjoy today's video don't forget to subscribe until then i'll see you in my next video